my viewers worldwide. I mean, this is Paula, your host, reaching you live from um, London. So, I mean, today I just want to give um give us some hints about um a condition called aramithia. I mean, it's um it's one of the things. I mean, it might sound like a very big um big name, but this goes to most of our brothers actually because we guys we kind of work a lot and we hardly really look after ourselves and it's really really a big thing because even even in europe yeah, i mean guys majority of youngsters are going down with a lot of illnesses and everything and i mean might be having chest pains and um, feeling dizziness heaviness of of head and everything and i mean you probably work out it and most of the things that you probably do is to actually use painkillers you know to suppress this and um, mind you if you don't check things out a lot of uh, youngsters you know have gone down with strokes high blood pressure and stroke and that I mean devastate them I mean I know of a lot of my mates I mean that they just in their 30s 40s 50s that they've gone down with stroke and be, the reason being they actually didn't look after themselves they didn't you know, get, checked get checked out you know I mean Hermetia is a condition where you have um, kind of chest pains and constant palpitations. Palpitations is when you start to feel your heart beat. And um, if this is becoming more frequent, yeah, like you feel that, like as if your, your chest is just shaking occasionally and everything, and you're having headaches and chest pains and everything, this is not a time for you to go for painkillers and and um, and, and, and and painkillers and ibuprofen or alabucon or whatever. Or thinking is um, so which is and which other is doing you. The pro point is maybe you're having high blood pressure. You know, maybe there are some things going on in your heart that needs to be checked out. And then before it gets too late, doctors can actually check it out. I mean, just a little random procedure, you know, and then of checking how your heart is functioning. They can actually pick up on these things and then get you checked out and give you the right medication to suppress it before it gets complicated. Because I mean, guys, I mean, it's 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 sad when you see young guys. They're not even up to fifty, you know. They down with strokes, and um, some of them just die suddenly. And they would and they say, oh, they they've been fine and everything. They're very good workaholics and good cool guy. But the point is, he's been dealing with these things for years. They have just been nominated with medication, so he's never got himself checked out. So I mean, and some people it might even be a genetic trait and lifestyle issue. Then if it's even a genetic trait, your lifestyle can even complicate this. So I mean, there's a need for you to actually always get yourself checked out at least once a month. Go to your doctor, even if you, I mean, you can have a health insurance if you're not in like like in this country we're lucky that we have NHS. I mean, most of us can have free health health check. But I mean, if you're not now in in the UK, we have you can have simple health insurance, go to your doctor, check your blood pressure, check how things is doing. If you have some funny feelings and slight dizziness, heaviness of head and everything, instead of using fancy paracetamol to numb all the pains, get it checked out because it might be serious complicated issues that is, that is, that is going on that is hardly difficult to actually pick up on until you get checked out. And once it's picked up at the very early stage, you can get the right medication to actually cure it or control, control it before it becomes um, a serious illness. So, I mean, because that is one thing that I need to actually share with us um, brothers and sisters. I mean, I know this is actually common with brothers, you know, um, but I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's a worldwide phenomenon. High blood pressure, cholesterol, high cholesterol, and I mean, you have to check your diet. You need to eat healthy. Don't just eat anyhow. And, and it's not just those people that are fat, that have high cholesterol. You might be slim and have high cholesterol. So, but these things need to be checked out. So, look after yourself. You want to live long? It's not just about witches and wizards or some demons that is doing you. Sometimes it's just simple lifestyle. Your body needs to be checked out so they can get the problem that is going on, that is building up maybe in your heart. I mean, instead of waiting until a uh, fat deposit clings up to you to your to your nerves and you find you've got to start breathing so you have having tightness of chest you have having continuous palpitation you have 
and pains in, on, on your stomach, just in the middle of your chest, and you're having constant uh, heart bumps and everything, S sometimes bloatiness, I mean, I mean, hooking pains in, on, on, on your chest, please get this checked out so that you can actually get the right help. So you don't go down with it because by the time you don't actually respond to what is going on in your body, your body will demand it and it takes longer, you know, for healings to actually take place because I'm actually growing older. I mean, we, you have your, 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 your body will take time to actually repair itself. So don't damage yourself too much before you get the right help. I mean, there's help out there, but you need to actually look for it. So it's not everything that I just am um, thinking, oh, it will just go, oh, it will just go. I mean, you might even be feeling too much fatigue. I mean, because too much of everything needs to be checked out. So, and mind you, there are a lot of herbal remedies that can actually help, you know, rubber remedy. So check your health, check your diet, check your dietitian, check with your doctor, I mean, and make sure that you live a healthy life. So, I mean, I will still be going deep into some of the other conditions that regular conditions that I mean happens to most guys and, and youths and, and in Afro Caribbean and even young people around the world. So then um, I will be discussing specific ones, but this is just a tip and for for you guys to actually look after yourself. So I mean, this our community, please let's help to build it up. I mean, and be on the lookout for other videos I'll be doing, my street tour, and I'll be, I'll be even be doing some things on um street food i mean that's one area i'm gonna go into now street food places that you can go to eat on the street i mean maybe at night time you're coming from the club you're hungry places you can go to and things that's happening in london here i'm, I'm gonna show you i mean at night time where you can eat out things you could eat and um, different joints you can eat different joints you can have a nice nice drink and i mean without busting your account so i mean there's no point going to five star hotel and everything where you can you have you you pay like fifty pounds just for tinning when tinning when the fish where you can actually get to one corner you know of of Peckham there and have a uh, have a my, my mighty burger you know for for for, for five, five five pounds or five dollars so guys I'm gonna give you some of these tips and take you on many other trips and um, please if you have any suggestion please don't hesitate to leave it down below comment subscribe share and um please keep on watching let, let your comment coming in and suggestion i'll be more than happy to actually handle all those things and as well i'm going to be talking about visa applications visa different type of visas that you can apply for i have to go through visa interview and to any country you want to go to so i mean even if you want to, even want to go to from england maybe you're british born you don't even know how to apply for visa to nigeria and to african countries all these tips I'm, I'm going to be giving you. So please, please stay tuned and keep watching, keep commenting, and keep um, supporting our channel. Thank you. This is your host, reaching you live from London. Hola. Peace.